Today is the day that we talk about filtering. Well, welcome back to Barley and Hops. I'm George. We're going to talk about filtering um, and the reason why we filter, how we filter, what are some options available to us, uh, and kind of like a litany of other things. Um, yeah, I've been hard at work over the last several weeks. Uh, you know, I told you that our saddleman's cut is well on the way. Um, <laughs> yes, uh, and we've, we've made quite a bit. Um, I've been mashing and fermenting and mashing and fermenting. And, and you can see I've got my fermenter there with two more fermenters in there. Uh, fermenting away at 84 degrees and uh, it's just maintaining it's been there for two days now so that'll take me another well, what seven days give or take oh let me get back to where I'm here for uh, filtering this is the uh, run from that saddleman's cut and we're gonna filter this today as well uh, and then we're gonna cut it uh, that'll be on the next video and then we're gonna also finish the product we call polishing we're gonna polish the product so I'm going to set those aside because those are not what I'm going to take go, go after right now. I'm doing that today, but one is a, as an example, a demonstration. I ran a reflux still, and I've got 180 proof uh, elixir uh, right here in this jar, and we're going to filter that, uh, and I'll, I'll, I'll kind of show you what the end results are because people get different results um, and, and I hear about it all the time. Jordan, I put it in there, it was 150, I took it out, it was 120. Uh, what caused that? We'll talk about that. That's, duh. Um, yeah, we'll talk about that. Uh, but there are many different methods for filtering, okay? Um, filtering is not just a simple process of using cheesecloth and just pouring your spirits through. Um, I happen to use, and this is not a paid promotion at all. This is just a product I found years ago uh, that has served me well. And you know, you, you look back and you'll see we've done videos on this before. The Zero Water Filter. It's a five-stage water filter. Uh, ooh, yeah. Uh, Brittle works just as well. Um, I find the Zero Water Filter works great for me because I already have the container. Um, and I buy two at, a, two at a time, the two-pack. They're good for, one filter is good for 15 gallons of water, give or take, depending on... Uh, your water source and the amount of the quantity of impurities it's removing. Uh, but for spirits, um, about five gallons. I, I cut it off at about five gallons and change the filter. It's to me, it's just well worth it. Just if you're going to filter, filter. Now, why do we filter? Um, there are times in your run, as you're running your still, that uh, you may wind up with some. You can draw tails at any portion during a run. We know that. Uh, we know that from experience. If, we run, if all of a sudden it just runs too hot, we're going to push some of those tails out, and you're going to wind up with fusel oils and off odors and you, things that you really don't want in there. But once it's in there, it doesn't just mysteriously disappear on its own. Uh, now, some are volatile. And if you leave the jar open, some of those off odors will kind of leave on their own, but not all of them. So we've got to have, find a way to get, get rid of those. And the best method for that is to filter it through charcoal. A charcoal water, activated charcoal. Now, okay, uh, uh, up front, I've heard it, I've discussed it, I've answered emails on it. I think we've talked about it a couple times before. Uh, fish tank charcoal is not the, the type of charcoal uh, that you really need. Uh, we also did a video on how charcoal actually works and why. Um, Gosh, it's just the small pores and it allows, based on size, just like molecular sieves, it allows only certain elements or certain molecules to continue to move while it traps those others, which are larger, you know, because the ethanol molecule is very small. Okay, um, that's off on a, that's on a tangent real quick. We filter in order to remove the impurities that we could have potentially drawn from our still. That's why I always say that if you're running a still and you're running it correctly, filtering is not as much of an issue as it is in the beginning of your hobby when you're still discovering some of the key points and periods of time through your process that you have to pay attention to. That's really what it boils down to. But filtering is always a good idea. It's never a bad idea. Now here, and I'll continue to talk about that as I do this. Uh, I've got this 180 proof, okay? 
180 proof moonshine and it's corn based uh, and I'm going to filter this and what I do is I use two blocks of you don't have to do this I do it because I like watching stuff happen uh, it's, it's just it's one of those things look if it makes you happy do that if it doesn't violate any of your principles do that and I lift yeah, there we go I lift up the insert because the filter just screws right into the bottom now oh, fair warning if you're going to use a brittle water filter let's say you're going to use the one you have at home um, use it for your spirits use that filter and once you're done remove that filter and put the cap on that comes in the box to store that filter <coughs> yeah um, you don't want to use that same filter once you've done your spirits for your kids kool-aid make sense yeah nor do you want to use the filter that you were using for just water to do your spirits. What do you think happens? You lose proof because there's going to be a little bit of residual uh, water left in here because it's wet. And once you pour your moonshine in there, then you've got water that's coming out with. And what happens when you add water to ethanol? It dilutes the proof. There's the answer to your main, one of the main questions, and it happens routinely. So, here's the question, and I've got this marked. I marked it here with a mark. How much alcohol do we lose from the filter that absorbs that and it stays wet? Believe it or not, it's a very, very minute. It's probably about an ounce. It's not, maybe two ounces. It's not really a lot, so you're not sacrificing a lot. Plus, it stays in there, and when I pour this in, it pushes that old stuff out. It it's, just kind of regenerates itself. Now, if you're using a brand new filter, make sure you start off with probably about a cup, uh, what, six ounces or so, to wet the filter. If you just pour this into a brand new filter, what will happen is you'll have what, what, what we call, you know how he had a vapor lock in a car, you know, in, in your gas line? It, you'll wind up with an airlock in your filter which means that it pushes all the air down and that air gets trapped and your liquid lays on there and it takes uh, it could take anywhere from 20 to 30 minutes before it finally gives in you'll see it bubble up and then it'll start running if you use about a cup and just pour it in there and you allow it to start to filter down and then start pouring in after that then it'll be then it, it works a little bit quicker but in this particular case I've used this filter once today oops I don't want to waste any of it You can, yeah, you can hear it bubbling its way down there. And see, I like to watch it just start to run out the bottom. And that's my filter giving off this spirit. I'll get to this. I'll be right back. Looks like we made it. Yeah. I'm done. It only took about 20 minutes, uh, 25 minutes maybe, but it's it's finished dripping, and uh, we're just going to transfer it back. And all right, got it transferred back, and I'm right at the line. So I didn't lose any alcohol, uh, so that's one. You don't lose any alcohol. Let me let's do the. Uh, Let's do the proof, and in order to, there we go, prevent losing a lot here. I tend to accidentally spill. Proof and trail hydrometer, not the regular beer and wine hydrometer of course yeah I wanna these are only good for after distillation and I'm sure if you can see that as well as I can from here um, at 180 proof so 
I lost no alcohol whatsoever. I lost no proof whatsoever. So my volume and my strength remains the same, but now it is a filtered pure product. So when we come back, yes, I would have already done, I'm going to run the settlements cut through there, and I've got another couple of jars here. i gotta, I got to do some filtering on. But I would have already done that, and we're going to move right into finishing, polishing our spirit. Happy distilling.